Hey guys, well thanks for coming down. On today's show, I've got a nice little musical treat that I've pulled straight out of the pop electro pool of genius. They go by the name of The Colours. And here they are, singing for you. Tonight, I let you go. Thank you guys for coming and joining us. You've just seen them perform, it's The Colours. Welcome to The Cordless Show. Thanks for having us. So uh, just introduce me, you're... Uh, I'm Tony. Yeah. I'm Tom. And Tom. Ah, oh. <laughs> which, which kicks off the first question really. Okay. Is it, does it ever get confusing having two Toms in the band? No. No, no, not, not really. really. How do you do it? Big Tom, well, little speak, Tom. Speak to each other, really. <laughs> so we're just Tom and Tom. Tom and Tom. What do you call us anything different, Tony? Pickford and Newman surnames. Oh, surnames. Oh, yeah, yeah surnames exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so you'd have to be on a sort of a second, first and second name basis. That's right. In order for me to sort of differentiate which one was which. You can which. call me whatever you like. On me, Tom. Yeah. You wouldn't know which one, would which you? Which one? Well, no, it, neither of us have a ball. Exactly, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, did you enjoy yourself? I know you just sang two songs, so. Yeah, yeah we, had, we had a good time. Come down from Reading. Reading? Yeah, this wow. afternoon. Um, yeah, rocked up. It was good fun. Yeah. Good stuff. Enjoyed well. it. Mappy, you made it all in one piece. Mm -hmm. Reading's like the other side of the world, isn't it? 
Yeah. Well, not, not really, but I mean... Uh, I'm only 25, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, only, I'm only around the corner, you see. <laughs> so I cycle my bike around here and I get it bright and early in the morning, get a bit of breakfast and that. But Good for you. I imagine you guys have to probably get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah, we get up, jog together. Really? We go to the gym. Um, then we have a, a protein milkshake. A protein Jacuzzi. milkshake. Yeah, yeah. Bit, a bit of creatine. Brand flakes for lunch. Yeah. Brand flakes for lunch. And then uh, a jog in the evening. I love yeah. it. It's only like top bananas on these <laughs> brand flakes, though. <laughs> strange. <laughs> anyway, before I go off on a mad tangent, as I usually do, right. um, there's a few questions that have actually been written. Okay. So, to, to, I'll, I'll crack on with the first these are one. From viewers. Uh, yeah, you could say that from from your fans, Got you. your fan base, which is increasing by the minute. <laughs> um, you played at a lot of festivals. Well, you played at a lot of festivals uh, during the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to highlight on a few of them? Which ones? I think. Um, um, go on, what, highlight for me was we did the Vibes from the Vines festival. Ooh. That was um, yeah, that was a in terms of like stage production and everything. That was probably the the, the best the best we've had. The sound wow. was perfect and uh, really? had a really good show actually, and I'd definitely do it again. Not yeah. a freckle on the Cordless show though. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah, Much bigger audience at the Cordless show. Save yeah. save the best for the last of the year. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. played a lot like a lot smaller festivals. Like we didn't do a lot any major festivals, but we played a lot this year, and yeah, that that one was good. That was probably our biggest crowd we played to about yeah. two and a half thousand people. Two and a half thousand so. people. Yeah, it was good. Got, it was got in, lucky on the slot, I think. Yeah, it was yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. The band before us was sort of like a twelve-piece jazz band who uh, combined Played age for three hours, three thousand, and uh, they killed for, the soul forgot of when the to audience. leave the stage. So yeah. uh, <laughs> we ended up going on about an hour later, which was great because mm -hmm. it, it got dark. Yeah. The light show was brilliant, um, and they did us a big favour. I didn't think they realised at the time. Everyone yeah. was very, very thankful for us yeah. to come on. I think as well. So really? we were on to a winner at the start. Yeah. Just resurrect. Just anything, the anything whole other world. than uh, freeform jazz for three exactly. hours. I think yeah. this was a welcome change. Yeah. So which, which leads me on to the next question, which was, um, which has been the fa your, your, your best or your favourite so far? You'd say that, I, I imagine. I probably, yeah, in terms of the buzz you get on stage. I mean, yeah. I'd, we'd never experienced that sort of level. I mean, we played to sort of. 800 to 1,000 people, we've done some university tours and stuff, but right. um, that is a different number of people. It's really amazing how much difference it makes, and uh, yeah, we felt pretty, pretty good. Pretty chuffed. Yeah, for the, for the next day Pretty proud so. of yourself for we've that We've done some good homecoming shows, sort of like Reading. We do try and do one or two a year, like yeah. within a tour, and sometimes just like a one-off. And we did one um, like two months ago, and that was good. We, it's, it's more of like a, a friends and family kind of deal. Where okay. We get to, people who are close to us get to come down and see what we've been doing. And stuff like your like top that. friends on exactly. MySpace or something. Yeah, that's it. yeah, yeah. And then we've got Facebook other, mates. Other, other friends and like sort of fans and stuff who want to come down and see us there, yeah, um, which is nice. It's quite a local homecoming. Yeah. So that was that was a highlight for me. That was like about a month or two ago. It was good fun. Excellent. Well, speaking of sort of, sort of social networking sites, uh, I've, really, I've had a look at your MySpace and uh, looked at the influences, yeah. and there was quite a few of them. So, it's uh, very hard to tell what sort of music we play, judging yeah. from the amount of influences we've got written down. So yeah. yeah, Tom's largely responsible for that. Tom's largely yeah, responsible. Yeah, I, just, I love I just, it. It's sort of like you know, just thro <laughs> throwing all, all bands that we like at a wall and seeing what sort of sticks, kind of thing. And yeah, I think we've got some some Beatles up there, Blondie. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think now. So classic kind of Hendrix kind of stuff. It's JLS, are they up there? JLS aren't JLS. up there. They're going to go up there. The JLS boys are going to go up there. As is this year's X Factor winner. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think they're good. I think they're good. Brilliant. Better than Alexander Burke. So have you, have you yeah. actually, have you actually uh, sorry to cut you there, gentlemen, oh, yeah. have you ever had a chance to meet any of your idols? JLS. <laughs> any of your idols? <laughs> or JLS, wish. yeah? I wish. No, no. Uh, I don't think we have, you know, actually. Like, we've... Um, <laughs> we bumped into uh, Pat Sharp at the Cambridge Pat <laughs> Sharp. Yeah, yeah from Funhouse. Fun he actually house. is an idol, because I used to yeah. watch he, Fun he, house. Did, he did a whole set, a DJ set, and he couldn't, it just on CD, he couldn't get that to work. And, and when the, when that failed, he descended into, you know, remember the twins on Funhouse? Yeah. Just making lewd The jokes. two blonde ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah Just yeah. making... Drive around in the go-karts, didn't right, they? That's right, yeah. yeah. It, was, it, well, it wasn't a, a, a sort of family-friendly, um, <laughs> um, you know, crowd. crowd and, uh, it was cringy. Yeah, it was we thought we were, because we were supposed to be supporting the Noisettes, for that gig, and we, we wow. thought that was a pretty big deal. Yeah. But it turns out Pat Sharp was supporting the noise X, and we were on just before Pat Sharp. So. Yeah. But to answer your first question, no, we haven't really met any of our crew. <laughs> Never met uh, anyone, yeah. yeah. No, but you know, one day. One day. One day yeah. yeah, I think I think um, if, if uh, the future's bright and the future's obviously. I get well, start, I get yeah. Orange, yeah. Though, yeah. I try to avoid saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Orange, Orange have actually done them quite well, aren't <laughs> yeah, they? The it's like programmed you to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's nothing else I could think of other than that. Mm -hmm. um, right, so um, I've obviously talked about the Tom, the name and stuff like that. Um, but the name Colours, yeah, which is the name of the band collectively. Yeah. Um, 
explain that for me. Where it came from. Yeah. It came out of a lot of different ideas that we didn't like. Uh, like, I don't know, when you come up with a band name, I think it's important that you like it. We, we eventually sort of one that we didn't hate, but it kind of, mean, I don't know, it doesn't really mean anything, but it's just to do with, we like to be a bit vibrant and colourful, and it's, it's fun. I think the colours, it's, I don't know. It's, it's all one of those names fun, also yeah. that you can't believe no one else has taken it yet. It's kind of like the Darkness or yeah. you know, one of those sort of band names. I see that, what you mean. You know, that yeah, someone must be called thought, The Colours we'll, somewhere. We'll, we'll take that and it, it's it's almost universal as it's nice and easy to remember. Right, yeah. Um, obviously, different spelling, different countries and yeah. stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not, hasn't got some, we, when we came up with it, it wasn't like, oh, let's come up with something really profound and amazing. Yeah. It was like, that. we don't hate that, we'll call ourselves that. And then we sort of yeah. grown into the name rather than the way around, I guess. Okay. See, I thought you were going to look, turn up as like sort of a, you get like the rainbow connotations. Yeah. We'd all, we went you'd through all, that phase. turn up as like a, a, a painter's palette or something. If we had the, the, the budget, <laughs> we'd do it. it. I think it'd be great. <laughs> Wear big spandex suits or something. Yeah, yeah. I'll be your stylist, eh? All our favourite clothes only come in black and white or grey. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Which is, yeah. Monochrome. It's not very fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, well, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you join me by the bar. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't get you a quick uh, one on the rocks or anything like that. No problem. <laughs> it's, it's all set. It's all yeah. like it's all Stick a fig for next time. Yeah. The next time, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when it's not a figment of the imagination. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, anyway, so is there any way, sort of like, way we can sort of stay in touch with yourself, like your, your fans and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, to go to our website's the easiest way: uh, www.thecolors.co.uk. Um, search us on Google. We've got a Facebook and MySpace page and lots of others from from there. Excellent. Yeah, we'll have a single out early 2010 um, and a tour to uh, promote that as well. So February, March time. The, the tour dates will be on MySpace page, which you can get through the website. Fantastic. Check that out. The Check colours. It out. Check it out. Arriva Dirty. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Bye. Without you, I'm no one, but this time I'm in love. I don't feel like coming home. Won't trust your heart of gold I could have been somebody I don't feel like coming home I don't feel like, I don't feel like coming home Won't trust your heart